Imagine a world where women's genius was celebrated alongside their male counterparts, where their inventions were recognized, their voices heard, and their contributions engraved in the annals of history. That's the world we're about to explore. Let's uncover the untold stories of female pioneers in science and technology, highlighting their ingenious contributions overshadowed by men. Let's begin. Margaret Knight invented the square-bottomed paper bag in 1868. This simple yet brilliant idea revolutionized the grocery industry and made carrying groceries much easier. However, someone tried to steal her idea. That man was Charles Annan, a man with thirst of fame who theft the intellectual idea by seeing Knight's design and attempted to patent it as his own. Knight fought back and proved that she was the inventor. She presented detailed drawings and prototypes in court and ultimately won her case. However, this is not an isolated case. You may have played the Monopoly game, but are you aware of the injustice behind its creation? Monopoly wasn't a ruthless fight for property and wealth, but a game that promoted social responsibility and economic fairness. That was the vision of Elizabeth McGee Phillips, the brilliant woman who invented the Landlord's Game in 1903. The game allowed players to experience the consequences of both concentrated wealth and monopolies. Yet her vision was overshadowed when Charles Darrow stole Philip's idea and repackaged it as the game we know today, Monopoly. The focus shifted from social commentary to wealth acquisition and Monopoly became a global phenomenon, overshadowing Philip's original vision. Elizabeth McGee Phillips' game was a creative and insightful way to educate people about economic issues, yet her work was unfairly credited to someone else. Exploiting someone else's efforts extends beyond the realm of the Monopoly game. Such incidents are prevalent in various fields, including the field of human science. Yup, it happened in 1905. There was a time when understanding the fundamental difference between male and female was a mystery shrouded in uncertainty. This was the reality until 1905, when Nettie Stevens, a woman with a keen eye for detail and a thirst for knowledge, embarked on a groundbreaking research journey. Through meticulous observation and analysis, Stevens identified the critical role of chromosomes in sex determination. Her work, presented in her seminal paper Studies in Spermatogenesis, revealed that male and female insects possessed different chromosome arrangements. Sadly, her work was credited to her colleague E.B. Wilson. Under recognition of great brains, concealed by the overshadowing behavior of their peers, is a widespread problem. This pattern crosses disciplinary borders, leaving its imprint even in the field of medicine. It was really a bad time before antibiotics, when leprosy was a devastating and misunderstood disease. In 1914, a young chemist named Alice Ball, armed with her brilliant mind and unwavering dedication, embarked on a quest to bring hope to those suffering from this debilitating illness. Through her tireless research and meticulous experimentation, Ball developed a groundbreaking treatment for leprosy. Her innovative method of extracting oil from Cholmogra seeds, known as the Ball Method, provided a glimmer of hope for thousands of patients who were previously condemned to a life of isolation and despair. However, despite the immense impact of her work, Ball's name remained largely unknown. Her research went largely unrecognized in her lifetime, overshadowed by the passage of time and the attribution of her discoveries to others. Have you ever wondered how many more lives could have been touched if her work had been acknowledged in her era? But what if I tell you that a discovery with the potential to save the lives of numerous soldiers was disregarded by the U.S. Navy solely because the inventor was a glamorous actress? Fast forward to the tumultuous years of World War II, where the silver screen glittered with the captivating presence of Hedy Lamer. But beyond her dazzling beauty lay a mind brimming with ingenuity and a spirit yearning to contribute to the war effort. While the world was captivated by her stunning performances, Lemaire secretly collaborated with composer George Anthile to develop a revolutionary technology called frequency hopping. This groundbreaking invention aimed to prevent enemy forces from intercepting vital communication signals by constantly changing frequencies. Lemaire's contribution was a groundbreaking discovery. 
It laid the foundation for modern communication technologies, including Wi-Fi and GPS, and had the potential to change the course of the war. However, her brilliance was tragically met with disregard by the U.S. Navy, who dismissed her invention as the mere musings of a glamorous actress. Can you imagine how different history might have been if Lamar's brilliance was recognized in real time? Yes, it could be, but the inventor was not a professional scientist. But there is a case where even the professional scientist was not recognized for her incredible work in the field of nuclear fission. In 1938, a groundbreaking discovery reverberated through the scientific community as Lise Meitner, a brilliant physicist, unraveled the mysteries of nuclear fission. This pivotal moment in history marked a new era of understanding nuclear energy, with the potential to revolutionize the world. However, the story of nuclear fission is tragically intertwined with a narrative of injustice. While Meitner's role in the discovery was crucial, her contribution was tragically overshadowed by her lab partner, Otto Hahn. He received the Nobel Prize in 1944 for his work, effectively erasing Meitner's significant role and leaving her name largely unknown. How many other pioneering women in science faced a similar fate? God knows. But in today's life, the invention that helped every mother in taking care of their babies also stands at the pillars of injustice with the real inventor. Imagine life in the 1940s, before washing and rewashing endless cloth diapers. This was the reality for countless parents until Marion Donovan, a mother of two, dreamt of a better way. With ingenuity and determination, she revolutionized childcare by inventing the disposable diaper in the 1940s. Donovan's simple yet revolutionary idea brought about a fundamental change in the daily lives of parents and caregivers worldwide. Gone were the days of endless laundry and diaper rash struggles. Disposable diapers offered convenience, hygiene, and much-needed relief to parents, allowing them to spend more quality time with their children. Despite the profound impact of her invention, Donovan's contribution remained largely unrecognized for decades. Her name rarely appeared in the history books, and the credit for her invention often went to others. This injustice underscores the unfortunate reality that women's contributions have often been overlooked or erased throughout history. Can you imagine the impact of her invention on countless families worldwide? Are you ready to rewrite the history? Let's celebrate these cosmic legends, ensuring women's brilliance takes its rightful place under the spotlight that never dims.